and welcome back to the second channel. All right, today's video is an interesting one. Now, a lot of you all know, I recently started a Depop business. Here's my Depop shop, Catfish Vintage. As you can see, I've sold a lot of items. I've had this Depop shop for about two months now. Not because I wanted to be a Depop seller, but I did it for a video. Yeah, that's right. On my main channel, I did a video where I set up a Depop business in the space of a week to see how much money I could make from that business over the period of a month. Spoiler alert, I lost money. I made about 386 pounds and we spent 926. However, since the video's gone out, our Depop has blown up. A lot of you guys have gone over to it and bought loads of stuff that you saw in the video that you liked. So yeah, as I say, we've got 62 sold. So we're about two thirds of the way through. So yeah, today I'm going to go into the depths of Depop, show you exactly how much I spent, exactly how much I made, and show you how much money can be made on Depop. However, first, let's see what the top comment was last video. All right, top comment. If this gets top comment, you have to be Lord Farquaad on Tinder for a week. I mean, this could be funny, but at the same time, why would anyone want a match with Lord Farquaad? Also, I'm going to set you guys a challenge. On this video, I want the top comment to not say if this is top comment. Can you just stop saying if this gets top comment? All right, anyway, on to Depop. So first things first, the products we got. Now, I thought the stock I got was actually all right. However, my friend Josh Cook actually has his own vintage shop and he basically messaged me when the video came out, basically saying good video and said it was an accurate job. So he basically said, when I saw you about to place the order with bulk vintage wholesale, I was thinking, no, George, don't do it. They're known for being frauds and scammers. Ironically known for catfishing their customers online with great stock, but said, Sending out awful stuff. So yeah, apparently I bought from a catfish. However, he then goes on to say, I was surprised when I saw what they sent you to be fair, as it was overall decent. So yeah, I think I got very lucky with what I got because apparently the places I got it from are known scammers. For legal reasons, I'm not calling you scammers. I'm just saying you've got a bit of a reputation, but the stuff I got from them was really good. And then them rectifying the flawed items because usually they ignore customers who complain. Literally, they sent me out like 14 extra hoodies. For me, it wasn't bad, but if anyone is thinking about starting a Depop business, be careful, do your research, and actually talk to real Depop sellers. Don't just spend £400 on a random website and hope for the best. So yeah, first things first, if I was going to do this again, I wouldn't buy from these companies just because it's a big risk. You're literally buying a mystery box. So yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to download the sales and let's see exactly how much money we have made. I haven't seen this yet. I don't know how much money I have made. I know I've definitely made my money back, but I don't know how much more I've made from it. If it's a lot, I might have to do this again. Okay, so here is a spreadsheet. I've removed people's names and addresses, but this has all of our orders. They show it in categories from jumpers to tops to hoodies. It shows what country we sent it to, from the UK to the US to Finland. However, the thing you want to know, in the space of two months, this is how much money we've made. So here we've got the item price, then we've got the shipping price, and then we've got the total. So what I'm going to do first, let's get the total, and then let's go auto sum. This is going to total it all up. Ooh, that's pretty good. £1,614.33. That's a lot of money. However, we've obviously got a minus the, how much did we spend? £836, which leaves us with £778 profit, which still is pretty good, but we've got to take away more stuff. So we've now got to remove the Depop fee, which is 10% off each item. So the total of Depop fees is £161, so that now leaves us with £616 profit, plus we've got a minus more. Honestly, am I going to have any money left? And this is going to be quite expensive. This is a shipping. So this column isn't going to be accurate because I gave some people free shipping and I still had to pay for it. So this shipping comes to 210 pounds. Oh, this money just keeps going down and down and down. Literally, look how many receipts I have. You can't even really see on camera, but there is like a full on stack here. This is honestly going to be painful. Okay, so I've gone through, I've added up all the shipping uh, and the shipping total comes to 246 pounds. Bruh, that's a lot of money to spend on posted. So we've now got a minus the 600 pound we have left from 246, which leaves us with three. £370. I mean, I'll take it. That's profit. And we have still got all this stuff that we can sell. As of right now, we've made our money back. So if you guys like the look of any of this, head over to my Depop after this. Vintage catfish. I'm going to lower the price is really low. I just want it all gone, to be honest with you. So yeah, for £370 profit, was it worth it? I mean, you know what? I'm happy we made our money back and more. But the problem with it is it's a lot of work. Literally, finding all the clothes, taking all the photos, trying it all on, listing every item. It's a lot of work. And for two months' work, and investing a thousand pounds, only get 370 pounds back. I don't think it's worth it. So yeah, if anyone's thinking about starting up a vintage Depop shop, go for it, but don't do it how I did it because clearly it's not really worth your time. It took me three months to make 370 pounds. And then just the whole experience of messaging people. I should have been paid 370 pounds just for that. Literally some of the messages I got. These were the messages just from today. So they messaged me saying, for real, why do I love this so much about this red jumper? They then said, could I get it for six? I don't know. It just seems easier because with shipping, 
I think it was listed for like £6.50 or something. So they asked for it for £6. So I said, yeah, £10 all in is good. I'll change the price. So I changed the price. It's now £10 with free shipping. Oh, love you, George. Mason Nation for life. It's £10 with free shipping now. Thank you, legend. By the way, when it says it's a small, is that men's or women's? Which sounds completely normal, right? They then said, I mean, obviously, you're a big, hunky, chunky man. I then realised they're never going to buy this. <laughs> they're just trolling me. This is what I mean, the amount of people I've had to deal with. And then they then just said, I'm really sorry. Buy it now or else. <laughs> that should show her. Don't call me a big, hunky, chunky man. I'm not big, hunky or chunky. Literally, look, we've got more here. So this person messaged me, hi, can you do £9.50 for this? Which is for this Nike t-shirt. So I said, yeah, I can do £9.50 plus postage. All right, thanks a lot. I watch all your videos. Great content. Keep it up. At this point, I thought they weren't interested. I thought they were just saying thanks. So I didn't reply. They then replied. <laughs> A day later, your content is dead. Rather watch a Fortnite player lose a match. Thanks. I mean, you said you watched all my videos and it was great content yesterday, but now you'd rather watch a Fortnite player. They then just said, change the price. So I kind of realized I messed up here. So I said, ha 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 I was in the shower. I wasn't in the shower. I was just looking for an excuse. So I then updated it and uh, they haven't bought it. So I don't know if they want it anymore. All right, so the next day, this person has now replied again. Did they buy it? No, of course they didn't. So obviously I said, I was in the shower. I've updated the price now, just like you are. And he then replied, Ayo, S-Y-M. Now, I didn't know what SYM meant, so I headed on to Google. SYM meaning, went on to Urban Dictionary, and it means suck your mother. <laughs> This just isn't worth the £300. I've just been told to suck my mum. All for a £10 t-shirt. It's, it's honestly just not worth it. So he said, Ayo, suck your mum 100 times, change it to £8. I mean, you said £9.50 yesterday, and now you're telling me to suck my mum and change it to £8. No wonder he's rated four stars. What are the reviews he's got? So he's got five star, five star, five star, and then he's got a one star. Terrible buyer with constant hassle. Complaining about postage time when the package was sent as soon as possible. Do not sell to this buyer. Yeah, I agree with that person. He told me to suck my mother. <laughs> As I said, I had to invest a lot of money into this to only make 300. And I have to deal with people like this. All right, back to the other messages. Oh, here's another one. This person said, yo, my drills. Can I get this to five pounds? Thanks, man. I'm a road man, by the way. So don't mess. So now I was dealing with a road man. As he said, I didn't want to mess about. So I said, yo, my slime. <laughs> Have you seen the video? Yo, my slime. That's what I was going for. I can do £5 plus postage. And they never bought it. Honestly, just wasting my time. I'm giving you a deal for this Nike t-shirt. For only £5 is so nice. Such a bargain and proper nice as well. But our roadman friend didn't want it. We then got the people that just offered us £1 for a £15 t-shirt. I just didn't even respond to that. We then got this one about this Colorado hoodie. They messaged me saying, still available? And I said, yes. They then replied, shush. I mean, you asked me if it's available. I said yes. Why are you telling me to shush? I'm answering your question. This is what I mean. It's just not worth the hassle. I've literally got to talk to people that ask me questions and then tell me to shush. It's just not worth the money. I even got messages of people asking me to try stuff on. Do you have a picture of this on? I'm wanting to know how low the scoop actually is. Now, usually I'd be like, oh yeah, sure. I'll try it on. But the item it was for was the cheerleading jacket. They didn't want to buy it. They just wanted to see me in it. Well, you know what? How about this? Here's how low the scoop is. Happy, do you like it? Do you want to buy it now? <laughs> Please buy it now. So yeah, that is what it's like trying to sell on Depop. Honestly, as I said, don't really think it's worth it. As I said, the thing about it is you have to invest a lot of money to get not as much back. And you also have to do a lot of work to make that money. Like realistically, I could go work in a supermarket for two months. I wouldn't have to spend a thousand pounds to get the job, but I'd earn way more than 300 pounds. And I wouldn't have to deal with people trolling me. So yeah, I don't think the Depop selling life is for me. But I thought I'd show you guys my experience. I hope you enjoyed. As I said, everything that's left is going to go up for sale, including this. Worn by me. I think that may actually make the price go down. So yeah, the price of everything is going to be really low. I just want to get rid of this stuff. So if you want anything, head over to the Depot. But yeah, that is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought down below. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason over and out. Boom.